Hi, this is Greg with thepress.net. I'm here today with Greg Reynoso and Johnny Rodriguez. Um, Greg and Johnny, welcome today. Um, Greg, I understand you kind of have a little bit of a storied past. Can you quick tell me about how you ended up here today? So uh, I was incarcerated at the age of 19, and uh, I ended up serving 10 years in prison. With uh, with with that time, I ended up um, really working hard, you know, because I wanted a vision to actually, you know, uh, open a restaurant in the future. I ended up getting out. Uh, that wasn't really, you know, ideal because I wasn't in the position or the finances to do that. So I kind of, you know, started just cooking um, to the point where I was doing a little home catering. Uh, started really learning about it. Knew I wasn't going to be able to afford a restaurant, but I ended up buying a food truck, a food trailer. That ended up just blowing up to the point where I had other avenues of uh, uh, expanding my business. Um, um, yeah, and I guess it just got got so big to the point where we're here now. Fantastic, fantastic. And I understand that you had an amazing opportunity where you got to work a little bit with LeBron James and Frito-Lay and getting some product endorsement? Yeah, well, uh, so uh, amongst all this building this thing, um, I guess uh, Hollywood ended up contacting me saying that they heard of my story and what I was doing and uh, they considered me an inspiration through the fact that I was uh, incarcerated and from you know, from being out. Um, I, I did all this, you know, within two years. Uh, it was two years, actually yesterday, uh, March 15th, was two years that I was, you know, out from prison. So they contacted me last year saying that, you know, with the, they heard of me building this business within the year and uh, see me as an inspiration, wanted me to be a part of their Own Your Bridges campaign, where uh, I was able to work with uh, a, a couple other inspirations that did amazing things, as well as work with uh, LeBron James. And they actually filmed a, a couple commercials based off that, you know, to, to kind of help others uh, and let others know that, you know, although you're in a hard situation, hard path, uh, you know, you could, you know, come out of it and, and become something and build something, you know, and, and the main thing, what they were campaigning was pretty much own who you are. And, you know, that's, that's how I was able to do that. Johnny Rodriguez, I know you have an amazing program called One Day at a Time. Uh, was Greg part of that program? Tell me how your involvement with Greg on that was. Yeah, no, Greg was part of our program. But what's really interesting, you know, growing up out here, as long as we have all our lives, that a lot of our families are, you know, connected. We all know each other and so I ran into Greg in the Reynoso name. I, I recognized it. But at the same time, I mean, I'll be honest with you, Greg had a lot of energy at that time as a young man there at Freedom High School. But one of the things that was um, unique and different is that Greg obviously was making some choices that maybe weren't the right choices. But he always had a, a level of respect for his elders, but also for people in general. And that's one of the things that really connected us, to be honest with you. He did participate in our organization. He he had times where you would come more than others. But for us, you know, the work is not only at groups, right? It's being able to see them through campus, right? Going in their classrooms, passing period, lunchtime, or even outside the community, right? Um, outside of the school, within the community. So me and Greg always had a, a lot of respect for each other, but at the same time, um, always trying to give them the right advice, right? And for us, success is not only to graduate from our program, but success could come later. You know, some of our kids get it right away and they end up doing things the right way from the beginning. And some kids, it just takes a little bit longer, right? And so for me, I've never looked at Greg as he's failed, right? It's just when he's ready, he's ready. And, and it's beautiful to see that where he's at now. I mean, he has a beautiful wife, a beautiful son. At the same time, he's grown up to be a good man, even though he's gone through that journey. Um, and I'm just hoping that, you know, one, ODAT, but even myself could be a little bit part of that, right? But at the end of the day, he's the one doing all the work. So Greg and Johnny, um, with your program and, and the fact that you guys work with young people, what would be that one thing that you could say to uh, this young adult that's maybe going down that wrong path to help them get on that path? You know, talk to the camera, talk to this kid and tell him, hey, here's what you need to do so that you don't end up and spend 10 years in, in jail. I mean, for me, it's um, it's simple, but it's not, right? I mean, obviously, I would tell a young man or a young woman to participate in our organization, you know, come be part of our organization and invest your time. But also, at the same time, there's a lot of other great organizations out there, right? And there's great people. So my thing to tell a young person to find somebody they can connect with that's going to be honest, 
It's going to tell them the truth. It's going to guide them in the right direction, right? And sometimes it could be the most random person that you never even thought that, that was the person. So I'll, for me, it's to take the time to get to research, but also at the same time, build those relationships either with an organization or with an individual that's going to inspire you and hopefully give you the right guidance and direction to live a positive lifestyle. All right. So Greg, tell me what you would say to somebody. Um, <clears throat> me personally, what I would say is uh, in, in life in general, you know, uh, be accountable for your actions, you know, and at the end of the day, understand that everything you do now, you know, is, is part of your growth, you know, it's part of your, your, you know, your, your conduct, your characteristics, you know, and so at the end of the day, uh, you know, the decisions you make, you know, you will be held accountable to them, r rather if it's good or bad, you know, and at the same time, you know, being through those, those 10 years, and I'm speaking of uh, based myself, you know, it was, it was, it wasn't what I expected, but at the same time I came out of it and it was a lot of growth in it. And uh, the, the best advice I could give anyone is just uh, be yourself, you know, be yourself the best way you can be and understand that uh, whatever you do now, you know, is gonna affect you in the future. So if you, you, you find something that you envision, if you, you have them dreams, you have them ideas, you know, go after them. It's apparently uh, possible because you're thinking of it, you know, so pretty much do it, do it the best way you can and, and just, you know, have, you know, like I say, a lot of people in my business, you know, I didn't steal from no one. I didn't cheat no one. I didn't lie from anyone. So I, I guess, you know, having great morals, you know, having standards um, at the end of the day, that's that's pretty much the only advice I would give someone, you know, be you the best way you can be, you know, and at the end of the day, the success is going to come. Perfect. Greg, Johnny, thank you so much for coming by and talking with us here at the press today. I just want to give another shout out. Pay attention, everybody. Taste This Kitchen's coming to Discovery Bay to be opened up hopefully by... Uh, we're, we're pushing for late late April, but, you know, we'll, we yeah. have a food truck, you know, and also we do catering, so, you know, just we'll be around. How would somebody get a hold of you if they wanted to have you cater? So uh, you could contact uh, our line, which is the phone number is 925-204-5924. You could follow us on social media, uh, underscore taste, underscore this, taste, uh, underscore kitchen, or uh, Reynoso underscore Greg, you know, follow us on our social media, but yeah, we're here to stay. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. This is Greg from thepress.net.